man, what in the heck is going on with junk silver? What is happening with the price of 90% silver? <laughs> well, we're going to talk about that today, and I'm going to share with you this latest package I got from a good friend of mine who lives in upstate New York. He sold me some junk silver. I got it at a real good price. And we're going to talk about this craziness that's going on with junk silver. All right, so this is what I managed to pick up 40 more ounces to add to add towards my goal of $200 face value in constitutional silver by the end of the year. Okay, so while you guys watch this, while I, I show you guys what I picked up, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this craziness <laughs> in constitutional silver and the premiums there and what that means to me and what that could possibly mean for you if you stack junk silver. Okay, so. Let's just establish what the ounces are per face in junk silver before we go any further. So in $1 face value, it'd be a quarters, dimes, a mixture of both, two Kennedy halves, whatever, that should be roughly 0.715 ounces per $1 face. So if we say a $100 face value bag is gonna be roughly 71.5 ounces of silver in that bag. So let's just go by ounces and we're gonna use spot price because everybody's premiums are different. So we'll use spot price as our base. Of course, you guys know that spot price is not the value of your silver, okay? I made a whole video about how you calculate the dollar value of your junk silver per ounce. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you guys wanna go check that out. I went to a lot of details and visuals there. All right, so I went to findbullionprices.com. That's my go-to place whenever I shop online, I go there first just to see because they usually have the best prices listed there. So I went, put in 90% silver, gave you a few options here, $100 face value, $10 face value, five and $1 face value. So you can choose which one of those you wanna find the best price for. All right, so we choose $100 face here. It's gonna take us to this list of the best prices. Top of the list, believe it or not, <laughs> is eBay. Surprisingly here, they have the best price. Somebody's asking for just $10.71 per ounce over spot. Okay, so right now as I'm making this podcast, spot price is $25.43. So you're looking at $10.71 over that per ounce. Keep that in mind. All these prices that I'm giving you are per ounce. So that's eBay. Somebody has a $100 face value bag on eBay for that amount. Okay, so let's go to SD Bullion. SD Bullion, for their $100 face value bag, they want $14.18 over spot per ounce. Now, I know. <laughs> Atmax. Atmax wants a whopping $16.17 over spot per ounce of constitutional silver. <laughs> okay, so what is going on here? What is happening with constitutional silver? Well, it's exploding. It's exploding in demand because people are finally recognizing what a great asset constitutional silver can be for your silver stack. We've been preaching this for years here uh, in the silver stacking community. Constitutional silver is the best. Well. It used to be the absolute best value for obtaining and stacking physical silver that was out there. You could buy it pretty relatively cheap. It was in abundance and it was so highly recognized, you could literally use it for money. And a lot of people did. You could find it in your change. You could go get coin rolls from your bank and find constitutional silver, 90% silver in those rolls. I mean, that's how it was. <laughs> But those days, I believe, are long gone and probably forever. Constitutional silver is no longer 
even considered can even be in the same category as just regular silver. It is beyond premium and into the ultra premium. When you're looking at paying almost $40 an ounce for silver, what does that mean? Well, it means for us who have been stacking it for years and have built up a pretty good supply, it means that that decision we made to stack 90% silver is adding tremendous value to our stacks. 90% silver is gaining in value and just increasing the value of our physical silver stacks. (laughs) Now listen to this for value for constitutional silver. I've left my number with several of the bullion dealers or coin store owners that I frequent in my city. And I've gotten calls asking if I'm ready to sell some of my constitutional silver. Now as a long-term silver stacker, that's exactly where you want to be. And if you've been stacking physical silver for a while, like many of us have, it's amazing how quietly and without fanfare, constitutional silver moved into the position it's in now. I mean, constitutional silver for me was that silver that I bought when the silver that I was looking for wasn't available. It was just silver to add weight to my stack. But now look where it's at. I mean, constitutional silver is the silver to have. And this is the thing that people are missing. What's out there is all that there is. They're not making anymore. So the the window for buying it is shrinking. Now the rate at which that window is shrinking could be debated, but it is shrinking. That's just math. They're not making anymore and it's being consumed. And so the value for constitutional silver is only going to increase. The demand for constitutional silver is only going to increase. I'm no financial expert or even a physical silver expert, but I can see opportunity in this and it's obvious to me. Now, the good news is that it's still available. You can still get in on the opportunity here to put constitutional silver in your stack. That is my personal opinion. All right. So as you guys know, I have a goal of $200 face value by the end of the year. This is 40 more dollars face to add that I've already accumulated this year so far towards that $200 face. So that brings my total thus far to $112.25 face value in constitutional silver. And I'm gonna try to increase that because I just see an opportunity here that I do not want to pass me by. So anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Short video today. Look, if you're not stacking constitutional silver, ask yourself why. You have an opportunity here, in my opinion, I'm only telling you what I think based on the experiences I've had stacking and buying physical silver. And I see an opportunity here that I believe is just gonna grow. I mean, they're not making constitutional silver anymore. It's in high demand and it's absolutely fantastic for your stack. So anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. More good content coming up. And look, we're just gonna keep the silver train rolling. Keep stacking.